Hey everybody, welcome back to Adam and Steve, not Adam and Eve, the podcast where we bite the apple. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me laugh every time, I don't know why. <laughs> you know, because it's kind of corny, but right? kind of like, but it's cute. It's cute, you know, but that's what we do, we bite, we we bite, bite the, the apple. apple, we just dig in, you yeah. know. So, um, I don't know, how are you today in 2021? I know, it's a brand new year that supposedly is going to change everything. Oh. <laughs> The preview uh, has not been so I great. Know, it has not been the greatest. <laughs> um, but yeah. no, I'm I'm good. Uh, you know, despite of everything, I think. Uh I think I'm I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm trying to convince like, myself I, I I'm good. I think I'm okay. <laughs> I think I'm good. Yeah. I mean, I'm good. We brought in the new year together. It was just really um, a few of us who hung out and mm-hmm. had drinks and had the TV on in the background and music playing, right? Yep. It was actually really fun. It was fun. Yeah. It was kind of like... It was the most <laughs> intimate New Year's I've had in a while. I know. <laughs> and it was so funny because we kept going, what should we do? What should we do? As if we had a lot of <laughs> options. <laughs> I know. And as if we were like really comfortable doing any of the options that made it been available. We were like, what should we do? What should... And uh, it was just like, okay, we're just going to hang out with each other and have some drinks and watch some... We didn't really watch the performances, but we did have the TV on in the background. We did. Yeah. And we had, you know, a little too much alcohol. Oh, but, we really did. And we all were laughing and joking and listening to some music. It was a really cute time. It was. You and know? you know, I have to say, like, and I've said this to you before, mm-hmm. I, New Year's has never been, like, my biggest, like, um, I guess, I don't want to say holiday, because I don't know that it... Is it a holiday? I don't know. But, you know... I mean, we consider it New Year's Day as a holiday. Yeah, but, but you know, like New Year's Eve, I guess, is yeah, what I mean. Yeah. Like, you know, of course, I like to go out and do things, but I don't like to be the person who's, like, put so much expectations on it. Because mm-hmm. then, like, a lot of times it fizzles, and then you're just like, oh, yeah. wah, wah. And especially at a time during COVID. Yeah. It's like, yeah, let's just, like you know, risk, yeah. you know, going to some crazy thing. Probably <laughs> go to Port get, of Art. Yeah, like, <laughs> again, been put on blast. You know? Put on blast yeah. the days over COVID. Yeah. Ooh, the kids are in a tizzy oh, over there. I know. <laughs> I, that leaves us like current events, like gays over COVID. That's a big I thing in our community know, right now. It is. And there is kind of like um, people taking the, either the side of like, they shouldn't be doing this. I know. And other people are like, well, good you're doing this. Keep up God's work. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So. I know. So like for people that don't know, like Gaze Over COVID is basically, it's an Instagram account that is kind of calling people out that are going to these big parties that gays, you know, are attending and that are being promoted and, yeah. and or even like large social gatherings. Yeah. It's, it's somebody who, or maybe it's multiple people that created the account to kind of put these people on blast to, yeah. you know, make it known that they're part of the problem. Yeah. Um, you know, there's so much speculation around it right now. I know. And there's it, a lot of like, you know, you shouldn't be shaming people and there's, you know, I don't know. I, I guess I can kind of see both sides. I can see it's, both sides for You sure. know, I get it. But on some levels, like you probably shouldn't be doing like yep. really big party events at this point, especially traveling to other countries. And yeah, I mean, yeah, even, I and even if you've had COVID recently and you, you feel comfortable because you have antibodies, obviously we're in that situation yeah. right now um, because, you know, we, did, we had it recently. Yeah. And it, it doesn't really mean you should, promote going to these like yeah. massive events, you know, during a pandemic. Yeah. Um, but you know, it is what it is. People are going to do what they want to do. It's their lives and, right. and whether or not they're impacting others lives that I can't, you know, I'm not going to let that like bog me down, you yeah. know, because that's not my life. But like, like me worrying about what they're doing yeah. is not my it's problem, just, you know? Yeah. It's so, hard because these numbers are wild you know, they keep rising yeah. and, and it's hard for people. And I don't know, it's, it's a tough one because at the end of the day, it's kind of like, listen, I can't preach too hard because on some level we've all probably done things that we shouldn't do yeah. in yeah. some capacity. Um, but some things are kind of like, okay, yeah, going to a party with like 500 people is probably not the best idea. <laughs> yeah, probably not traveling to another country. Yeah. And like, you know. And and while I will say too, you can be mad about it too, but if you post things on your social media yep. and it's public, then it then you it know, it's it free, it's free game. Yeah, you it's know, free you can't, game. You can't do that. And also if you're in the medical field, it's yeah. not cute if you're posting a picture of you getting the vaccine and then two pictures later you're partying. Yeah. That's not cute. It just puts out a weird message and it does. And like, you know, like we said, can 
see both sides. I understand yeah. a lot of gays are getting upset with like the public shaming. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's coincidence that most of those gays are um, going to the parties probably. But yeah. we do have a couple friends, you know. <laughs> We've had some that popped up on <laughs> 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 Right? <laughs> but like, you know, even friends that we have that don't go to the parties do agree that, you know, it is public shaming. Yeah. And, and and I get that. And it is it is. It's pretty. I mean, they're calling people out and yeah. tagging where they work and doing these things yeah. that are really kind of messed up. But you can't be in the medical field because if I show up to my appointment, <laughs> your ass was just on, at yeah, a but, party. Uh, um, I saw him on gaze over COVID. <laughs> like, uh-uh. No, ma'am, yeah. you got to get me somebody else. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, it's it's kind of a it, it's a hard one in on some aspects, but I don't know. At the end of the day, also let's all like not act like we don't know how social media works. I know if you post something. It, you know, and, and don't be posing for pictures and shit if you are doing yeah. things you, should, you, shouldn't, <laughs> you shouldn't be, be doing. doing. Like, there's no defense behind going to a party. Yeah. There's yeah. no, like, you can't, like you said before, like, you can't justify really, yeah. like, how that's acceptable in this time. Yeah. So if somebody you, calls you out, it's like, what's your defense? And, and you're getting upset because people view it as wrong. Yeah. And it's being put out there like that. But it, it's no different than you just posting it. Yeah, it's just someone calling it for what it is. But but I do think that you know we've come a long way yeah. as a gay community, yeah. and like to really go against each other like that is I like know. It's, gays over it's COVID should just be people over COVID, and True. it should just be like. But they don't have those right. those accounts of people who are straight yeah. or whatever that they can put it's on like blast. It's like we're singling each other out. Yeah, so that and part is fucked yeah, up. Yeah, it is. And that's why I say I see both sides of it, you know. Um, and it's just, I don't know, I just want us to be happy again and be able to freely do things. And But I, I do get the need um, or the want yeah. to party and be oh, social. Uh, I mean, I want to too. I mean, I'm not, but, you yeah. know, I, I get it. It's, mm-hmm. it's hard. So that's why we're saying we see both sides. Now, let me point out, though, those girls, the queens that were in that ship, that, that little party boat. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. So there was another, uh, there was an instance. It was like 60 people. Yeah, there was a, a party cruise, a gay party cruise in mm-hmm. Puerto Vallarta that the, the, the ship capsized. And she was going down. She was, like, literally was under the water. People were in the water. Like, oh my God, those memes. Oh my God, they were funny. They were, I, I know, it's like, it, luckily everybody was yeah, safe. Yeah, everybody was safe. Nobody died. Nobody died. Anything, thank God. If you haven't seen it, though, you should they were floating. Google it, research it because it's it's wild. The memes in the comments. I Some know. of the comments were flat out hilarious. I, I was like, y'all are mean, but I was laughing. I know. So I, it was it was like, <laughs> you know, I would have been crying. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh my god, I would totally like. Oh. <laughs> I would have been crying. I know I would too because you're in open water. You're, you're literally just like in the ocean, right? And like. Thinking I, you're gonna die. I'm I'm gonna die. I'm gonna drown, or a shark's gonna come yep. and just snatch me up right now. Because they were too far to swim to, swim to shore. Know. Oh, so know. your ass is gonna drown. Do you see those videos of like the people like swimming up to the boats that are oh, there to like my God. S- save them, basically? And these people are like frantically trying to get on the boat. That way, oh. I would have been like, <laughs> right? But you know, they are lucky that they actually had enough like life preservers, like on because you're on a booze cruise in Puerto Vallarta. You know, you could take your chance because yeah. they're but they they lucked out with yeah. that. I wonder if like Celine Dion was playing in the background. (laughs) 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 Titanic. (laughs) Yeah, people floating on pieces of wood and shit. (laughs) You're like, Jack. I don't know if I've ever laughed like that on the podcast. I tried to prevent that laugh from coming out. But Steven, that was a good one. Well, you can guarantee if she was playing, it was a dance mix. (laughs) It was a dance version of it. Some gay boy on driftwood, right? You know, from the ocean. And it like, was like the dance version, yeah. you know. She oh. probably held that note for like five minutes because oh, you know my. they like to hold a note for yeah. really, really long. Uh, well, I don't know. Well, we had to bring that up because I don't know. Whatever side you fall on it, I guess I can kind of see arguments on both sides. Yeah. I don't want to take a. I don't know, but you. Uh, yeah, I uh, see it both ways, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. anyways, but we had to bring that one up because you know the kids are in an uproar. It even made like news. So really, yeah, I, I saw some news things. Yeah, it made news. So uh, you know, well, anywho, yeah. I guess on to the next. Um, yeah, the, well, the what capital? Is, oh God, yeah. Yeah. child, those people. I that blows my mind. Like, 
and I'm sure most of us probably feel the same way. It's like this rally, I don't even want to call it a protest because that's not what it was. Um, it was it was straight up like out of the purge. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, like, I don't even want to call it a protest. Yeah. It was like they knew it was happening. They yeah. knew it was happening. Mm-hmm. And it was like, that's how you guys responded to it. People were literally climbing the walls. Breaking of, windows. Breaking windows. Yeah. Sitting in Nancy Pelosi's chair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, walking through the Capitol with a Confederate flag. Mm. It's like, it, 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 it's so crazy. Like security was like ushering them in. Like they were yeah. going to like Disneyland or something and telling them, thank you for coming when they left. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. I, it, it was, and you know, and it was blaring because everybody was like, we all know that that would have gone down different if that were like brown and black people. We, Absolutely. We, we know that. I mean, look at like Black Lives Matter. Mm. Look at like it was treated completely different. We wouldn't even made it on the first step. Yeah. Like, and it's just, it's mind blowing. And then they were all dressed like they were going to Burning Man. I was like, what? The <laughs> <hell's going on?" laughs> what is happening? <laughs> like, hey, it was. I didn't watch a lot of the news coverage, mainly, I don't know, I've just been trying. Yeah, you were trying to like. I'm just trying to like pull back from social media and the news, unfortunately, is a type of media that is portraying a lot of of bad things that are going on, which I know still needs to be acknowledged. But I, I was just, at that time, I was going through that moment, so I didn't watch a lot of it, but I did see things. People sent me things still. Yeah. I still looked, and, it, and, it, and it's just, it's really embarrassing. Oh, um, hell yeah. It, it's, I, I, you know, there's a part of me that kind of, like, wonders if, if parts of it were staged, but then... I don't think so. I also just think, like, even if it was staged... That's still embarrassing. Yeah. The fact that we have to do that at this point in time, yeah. at this day and age. It, I definitely the, don't that think that people it was agree to do that and in those at their free will, even like is just But I, they're just idiots. Yeah. Like even the people they were talking to, they're just stupid. Yeah. Like and Trump has to just he this was his doing. Yeah. Like he encouraged these people. He was like, We love you, you're good people. Fuck you. Yeah. Like, seriously. Like he needs to be let out in handcuffs. I know. Like literally let out of handcuffs. No, I agree. I I think he's just not a good man. Right. I think it's he's just all about money. He always has been. That's like And but, he's a narcissist. Yeah. In the worst way. Yeah. And thank God they blocked all his accounts finally, which they should have done that a long I know. time ago. I, I wish feel they'd like everybody's just ago. like doing these things now because he's no longer going to be president. Yeah, what does he have? Like five yeah. days. Left I know. Or I know. <laughs> like it's like there's it's no like, there's oh, no now consequences. You, right anymore. now you want to speak up? Yeah. Okay, fuck you too. Yeah. <laughs> like, I you know, know like Oh, but yeah, it was, it was, it was all, it was a crazy thing to see. Mm -hmm. And it's something that most people would not think they'd see in the U S at the Capitol. I know. Um, Sad, you know. I'm just, just glad like, it wasn't it, none of my people because you know, you're know. <laughs> and like, I <laughs> know, <laughs> like, it, oh gosh, you it, know, we begin blamed for everything. <laughs> so, I, like, look, I was looking to make sure. <laughs> It's not funny though. I like, know, I just, know, but you know, yeah. you, sometimes you gotta make it a little light. But yeah. but yeah, it was it was just insane. It's crazy. And I'm glad they're starting to arrest a lot of the people. They are getting They should, yeah, know, absolutely. They, That's not acceptable. Yeah. I don't care. Like and what do you I don't know. I'm just so confused at what the protest actually even is at this point. Like Well, they just need to get over it. He yeah, fucking lost. He lost. Like, you know, we won the Senate. Like just get 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 over it. Yeah. And, and it's like and he and he needs to stop. He he's spurring them on. Yeah. Like saying they're taking they're they're taking it away from us. Like, what's ours? No, boo, you lost. Yeah. Like get the fuck over yeah, it. And like no matter which way you recount it, you lost. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. He's done so much criminal activity. He does. And it's just like the fact that people that can be oblivious to it is just mind blowing. I mean, I could go on and on for hours. I know. We both could. Right. But like, (laughs) because it's just, it's so, it's so interesting to me that people are that, that, that caught up in this like cult. It's it's like a yeah, cult. It's it really not, it's is. not it's not the way a country is run. It's no. you 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 the way you speak and you deliver yourself is mm-hmm. like a cult. The fact that he even like got voted into office the first time, it's like the people voted on shame on you. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, it's, it's like shame, shame on, on you. you. Like, like it's insane. Like Donald Trump. He's like literally <laughs> like like known for like all the Most mishandling of things. money yep. and like in. 
you know, assaulting people. And I'm like, not yeah, yeah, yeah. You could just go on and on. Yeah. And on. I don't know. We should change this. Yeah. Next we're going to get in a bad mood. <laughs> like, I know, right? <laughs> like, um, oh, gosh. So, oh, like, what new shows have you been watching, Stephen? Uh, I know. Because so this is like a thing now. Like, everybody used to watch TV before, but like now it's we're like the really only thing TV. that like people really talk to each other about I if know. it's not COVID or Trump. Yeah, it's like what shows are you watching? Well, especially here because LA is really, really locked yeah. down. Oh, still. Yeah. like we can't even go to a restaurant. Still, yeah. like literally, you can't go to a restaurant. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. I've been watching. Um, we both watched Bridgerton, which is a the Shonda Rhimes show on mm-hmm. Netflix, which I loved. It's, I it's like, a love story. It is. It's a love story. But she, I mean, it's you know, it's multiracial mm-hmm. and. It's the production is insane. I was oh, like, yeah. I don't know how much money they gave you to do this because yeah. it's, you know, we talked about yeah. this. Like, it's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, every scene is like a huge ball or party right. or something, you know, and they just all have these co- like elaborate costumes yeah. on and gowns and in, in the main character. Oh, he's so hot. Oh, I, I'm going to try to say his name. Roger Jean Page. Jean? Yeah. Jean? I don't know. I don't Maybe know. He's French. I don't Maybe know. We're going to have to look him up. He is. By far, Hot. one of the hottest guys I've seen in in, in a newer TV series. Yeah. It, um, was, oh, it was good. I, I blew through that series real fast. I just watched it all really fast. Yeah, yeah. It's an easy watch. Yeah. It, in, um, I always have to watch those shows in subtitles because I... Like, I cannot <laughs> believe you do that. <laughs> I can't follow the English accent sometimes, like like just the way they say things. like that. Not like I cannot how they believe sound, but the way they say things. I can't, like, my attention... D- I don't but know. doesn't it take away from your viewing pleasure? Well, it does a little bit, but it, uh, sometimes if I'm viewing it without the subtitles, I'm like, "What did you like, just what? say?" <laughs> so like, then I don't know what's going on. So I don't know. I have. I think to, I've like, watched enough of those shows to where I'm used to the accent. I should watch it once with like subtitles, and then watch it again yeah, without, without it, yeah. so I can get both yeah. parts of the experience. I highly recommend that show, though. Um, what else have I watched? I've been watching a lot of stuff. I just finished a new season of Cobra Kai. I know you don't watch that, but that show is real, real good. I know. I mean, it's fun. I'm sure I'll. I'll watch it eventually you should if you were a fan of the karate kid it's kind of amazing because like it's like they bring back the old people uh, from karate kid the original movie mm-hmm. it's pretty fun um i did finally because now I have hbo max so um you know because i well i got it with my phone or whatever anyway so um <laughs> I finally watched Euphoria, yeah. which you kept telling me to watch, which was, I had only seen a little bit of it before, but it was so good, but it drained me a little bit because yeah. like, boy, those people have some kind of miserable lives, Yeah, those kids. I was like, damn, it wasn't like that when I was in high school. Like we didn't live that kind of <laughs> life. Know. Like it was. The fact that she's like a drug addict and going through all that. And, yeah. Oh, but she's she, such an amazing yeah, actress she, in that, in oh that show. Oh my God. The, uh, what, what the hell is her name? Uh, Zendaya. Yes. She or was, Zendaya. I'm not she says it. She, uh. She did amazing. She did. I I was impressed. I was impressed with a lot of acting on that show. Um, And then I just recently started watching Looking again. Remember, so Looking was um, a gay-themed show on HBO. I don't know what year it was. It had to be like three years ago or whatever, right? Something like that. But, um, yeah, something like that. But a lot of, it got a lot of shit from gay people. I don't know. I liked it a lot. I I liked it a lot, too. Um, I mean... (laughs) I also watched it when I was like in the, you know, process of coming out. Like I just came out really. So I, maybe the people that had problems with it, you know, have more, had more experience at the time of like certain gay standards or gay ways of, or like lifestyles or whatever it may be. But yeah, there was a lot of people that didn't like how it was like the gay life was portrayed in, in San Francisco. And I'm like, I, I didn't. I don't live in San Francisco. I, I guess maybe. But yeah, maybe if we lived there, we would have felt different. I don't know. I, I don't I'm know. Not really I sure. thought it was good, but I started watching it over. I just started it like the other day, and um, I know you were saying you wanted to start too. So like maybe we'll do like an episode on that. Like yeah. it would be kind of fun to take a deep dive into that show. Yeah, and, definitely. I don't know. Get some other people to watch it too. And I liked it. And then we. I liked it a lot. Yeah. And then they it was sad that they they it was only two seasons, and then they did the movie. The right? movie to wrap it up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know, but I've been watching a lot of. Um, <clears throat> This and that, whatever. Yeah. I don't know. What about you? Kind of the same thing. I mean, <laughs> I, I've been watching a lot of random shows, um, you know, in the beginning of the pandemic or actually when we had COVID, <laughs> I was yeah. watching um, the, the Boys and... Um, oh, yeah, I love that show. What's the, the show that I had you watch? Um, Which one? What was it about? The Super... 
uh, the the seven kids or whatever. Oh, uh, the Umbrella yes, Academy. Yes, the Umbrella Academy. That was Academy. so good. I know. I loved the Umbrella Academy. It was Academy. really, really I, good. Yeah. I'm glad you like. You should watch this because I literally had it on my my list of to watch forever, mm-hmm. and I don't know why. You know how like sometimes you have shows that you intend to watch, but you never hit play. Yeah. For some reason, this one kept coming up on mine, and I just finally just clicked on it and started yeah. watching because I really do like super superhero type yeah, shows. Me too. I don't really read a lot of comics, but I like the show, like the movies and stuff. Yeah. I've um, read some comics. I don't read a lot, but I do read some. Yeah. Like every now and then. So I watched that and I don't know, just random stuff. Yeah. You know? Well, I foresee that we're going to continue to watch a lot of TV yeah. because <laughs> it's like the thing to do right now. Well, Netflix I, is killing it. Yeah. And I feel like, uh, the vaccine probably isn't going to come our way until maybe like summer, it feels like, because it seems to be behind a little yeah. bit. So I don't know. So I feel like we're going to kind of probably still be in this situation for a while. But <clears throat> going into 2021, yeah. did you make resolu- resolutions? What are, you, what are you thinking? I mean, I think, yeah, just I want to finish my real estate stuff. I think, you know, I kind of touched on that in the last episode. and Yeah. Um, to get my license and maybe get into some investing. And then, um, I don't know, that's kind of it, you know, Yeah, just <clears throat> the normal things. Yeah. And just like just to be, have a better year and, you know, the expectations into 2021 are very much high yeah. because we had such a bad 2020. Um, but it's also like, I know we said this before, but it's really based on everybody, Yeah, you know, and everybody trying to make things better and, um, and just stop with all the hate and the negativity. Yeah. There's just so much of it still, and it really, it really makes it hard yeah, to it move forward. It's you know, hard. yeah. I just thought for 2021, like I said, I don't really typically make too many resolutions or whatever. So mm-hmm. I don't know, just like trying to be healthy. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I guess. And I know we were like kind of mentioning like the dating thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we said we're going to try to be a little bit more open this year. Yes, we're, it's hard though. I mean, we, I've started off on a pretty good foot. So <laughs> you have. You, you, you started off, you're trying to be a little bit more open. I don't know. I feel like dating, we've said this before. We had a whole thing about it, but you know, it's a little hard. And right now it's been hard during COVID. And, um, you know, it's hard to like, Meet yeah, people. COVID made made it really hard to even like it was already hard to date yeah. before in LA. You know, everybody just wants to have sex with everybody and it's right. just like this big thing um of you know, it's yeah. all sexual. I yeah. feel like it, but there are people that want something more. It's just it's kind of hard to find. It was already hard to find when you were able to go out and do things right. and now it's like even harder. Well, it's like so, right now too, the only way you really kind of meeting people is online. Yeah. Like before you could go out to the clubs, you can go to the gyms, you can Fantasize about being in the grocery store and meeting yeah. the same guy while you're going for the. <laughs> you're, you're going and grabbing an orange. Right you're the same at orange. The same you know? time. <laughs> <laughs> and then you look yeah. up at each other and it's like. Right. Like the and romantic it's like, music. And y'all don't laugh because you know you've had that same fantasy. <laughs> 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 you're trying to go get the same grapes. Yeah, uh, uh, but instead, we all just, you know, side eye and look right, at each other from afar. Each other. Right. You know, exactly. with our masks on. <laughs> you don't even actually uh, know how people look. The mask is so hard because, like, mm. some. Sometimes I think I've run into somebody I know and I'm like, I don't know if that was the person or not. Yep. Like, I don't know. But um, it, it is it is kind of hard because like it, even when like I'm like with one of you guys and we're like, oh, look, that guy looks hot. And then you're like, wait a minute. They have right. a mask on, though. So like what if they took that off and they're like, like, like me, sir, you know? can you take your mask off for a second? <laughs> you ta- I just need to see if you are attractive. <laughs> right. Real quick. OK, thank you. You can bring yeah. back <laughs> Do you want to like grab for the same orange? Right. <laughs> right. I think we can have the moment now. Right. Can we have a moment? <laughs> right. We're going to get our oranges at the same time. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. It's like there's not too many places to actually physically I know. meet people. It isn't. They actually you just know. went on a date today and uh, it was like a coffee date and but there wasn't really anywhere right, at that place to, walk to sit. We, had to walk, we literally walked around for like an hour just wandering West Hollywood. That's really cute, though. It was kind of cute. That's and it, cute. it was like, it was the most, um, you know, it was like full attention at each yeah. other the whole time. And I, it, it's just a, it was, it was, it was nice. It was yeah. a really nice date. 
Yeah, see, I'm going to try to be and open I this rarely year. say that. I so. know. I'm so hard even 101. I was like, what's a date? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Is that like, like a calendar? On the calendar? I was like, you're going on a what? <laughs> I was like, let me look this up. Because <laughs> I don't know what it Let's is. Let's see what the definition of right. a, a date is. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> I, yeah, I, I suppose I'm gonna try, but if the opportunity presents yeah. itself, because that's you the hard like part. Force it, yeah. you know. But that's the hard part. If you find somebody that you're meshing with, like, yeah, you know, we. I feel like we were always a little more like not standoffish. Well, but a little like, bit. well, I'm skeptical too because you know, like you said, like we meet people online, and sometimes people don't really represent who they are when yep. you meet them online. I know it's such like a a gamble. You yeah. Know? You're just like, so yeah, so I get really skeptical. Like, I don't know, and and like you said, it's like, so especially if you like meet somebody on Grinder and stuff, because the basis of Grinder is really it's like a hookup site, right, or yeah. like Scruff or whatever you're using. I mean, even I guess if you're on like Tinder, or like or something, I don't know. I guess that's less of a hookup site, supposedly. I guess. <laughs> I'm like supposedly. Like, like, we like rank them now. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. So it's kind of like most of the time, you know, somebody hits you up and they want sex. Yeah. You know, and so. Like I go on and recently I've gone on, but I have not been hooking up with people. Yeah. I don't know. I've just been on, I, I need a break, yeah. but I feel it's just, yeah. you know, cause sometimes well, it's, it's just, a weird time to hook up with people. I, exactly. <laughs> so I haven't been doing anything with anybody. Yeah. Right. Cause I don't trust people. Like I said, yeah. I'm skeptical. <laughs> and also as gay guys, a lot of us, not everybody, but a lot of us, you're so um, quick. You meet somebody on an app and then you go hang out with them or hook up with them. Like, mm-hmm. so a, there's a lot of blind trust. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's like, you know, I watch the ID channel. So, mm-hmm. you, <laughs> <laughs> so you're ready for some shit exactly. to happen. Exactly. So, no, but it's true though. You don't know what you're going to get. And you're, I don't know. That's actually the date I went on today was somebody I had been talking to on Grinder for a, a little while now. And, right. And it, it's just kind of like, you know, it was the. F- <laughs> this, I'm trying to think of a way to word this to make me not sound like a hoe. But, well, um, <laughs> sometimes you just start with your ah, boom. <laughs> so it's just been a while since <laughs> I've like tried to like go on a date with somebody from Grinder and not just hook up with them because I don't take Grinder seriously exactly, at all. Exactly, because it's not, a hookup. Yeah, site. I'm not looking for right for a relationship on Grinder. I just happen to stumble across somebody exactly that. that you know, is that not looking that, for yeah. hooking, not necessarily hooking up. And so we just started clicking and talking and that happened. But normally that is not it the is case. It's not the case. You it's know? like, it's man, like when getting a, a good date out of Grinder is yeah. like, a, it's a pretty much a long shot, yeah. you know? You know what's so funny is that I have been going on recently, but I haven't been hooking up with people. But So I don't even know why. I just It's like a, <laughs> you just like waste time yeah, and you chat it is, with it's people. It's a time waster. So like last night, you know, we drank a good amount last mm-hmm. night. So I was kind of feeling it. And a I got too much tequila. A little too. I don't think I can handle tequila <laughs> yeah. that well. Um but I get in bed, I don't know, it had to be like, what, like one thirty, almost close to 2, which is like the latest I've stayed up in a very long time, because normally it's like 8 o'clock. I'm like, well, it's time to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to hit the right. hay. <laughs> <laughs> At that point, I already had my nighttime attire on. I'm like, well, <laughs> shuffle over to the bedroom now. <laughs> so, it's really it's sad. It's, but it's kind of nice. It is kind of yeah. nice. So I probably got There's more no sleep lately than I have I know, me too. Time. There's no expectations for like being this like socialite I know. anymore. So you can literally just like be yeah, a you're hermit in at your home and like... You yeah. get a lot of sleep. But it was like last night I go on and I was like, I don't even know why I go on. Because at this point, I'm drunk are very tipsy, knowing full well that if somebody hits me up, I'm not going to do anything, but I did anyways. And like, of course, these people start hitting me up and this couple hit me up and they actually sent videos and stuff. I'm like, y'all be doing the most. Um, <laughs> That's a lot of advertisement. I know. <laughs> they really did. And what was like, you know, the private, and they opened yeah. up the private albums yeah. and they had like videos and stuff. And I was like, um this is probably not the right time for me to go to your house. So I didn't I'm not in the same place you are. Uh, yeah. So I, I didn't go. I was like, no, but I'm glad I made that decision yeah, because sometimes you. we make really bad decisions. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I've definitely been victim of that. Right. And you're like the next day, like, why the fuck did oh, I just, do that? Like why? Like the judgment that yeah. I have. I literally like if those times have happened in the past, <laughs> hopefully not in the future. I look yeah. in the mirror and you're just kind of like, what like yeah. but you know what to be fair like most of the time those stupid situations that happen are like under the influence of 
yeah. uh, like alcohol or something, you know? Yeah, but what threw me about, well, not threw me, but what I took away from the videos that they sent is that they have like camera shit really set up. And I was like, so I'm. So you're going to be on OnlyFans. Okay. Fans. I'm like, so I'm kind of OnlyFans. Drinking, right? I was like, so I'm tipsy, so I'll probably do stuff with them and then end up on a video. Not saying that I'm probably not on one somewhere else, anyways, but I'm just, yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sure I'm on some website. No, well, Someone's got my pictures and videos. Well, Someone bad filmed thing, me. Right. And the bad thing about me is that I got this big ass tattoo. So I know. There's like know. no, even if your face isn't in it, everybody's going to be like, oh, that's Steven. Right. <laughs> oh my God. That was our friend. Right. And that girl saw you. <laughs> You'd be sending it to everybody else. Exactly. So I was like, no, I'm not going to go. So I did the right thing and I just like passed out and went to bed but like when you're on <laughs> i'm gonna ask you this when you're on like grinder or whatever you know we're giving them a lot of plugs they need to give us some money for I know. I know. <laughs> but when you're on that certain people hit you up do you ever just think to yourself when you see their pictures because sometimes they just send you some shit or it's like somebody that you're just like what in my picture that you saw made you think that you should hit me up yep like what? Because there's some people that hit you up and you look at their pictures and you're like, seriously? Like, for real. And like, and like, and honestly, you know what? Fine. I understand. There's a level of confidence. There's a level of confidence. And I'm not trying to be like, we're the hottest piece of shit yeah, the, or on, piece no. of ass or whatever you want to say in the world, but we're, we're the hottest but piece of But some of the people, right? <laughs> we're well, maybe a little bit. We're like, Hot. <laughs> <laughs> but like no but it's sometimes just like, you're like you are a thousand years old yeah or yeah I, i'm not, not gonna, that i have I'm an age like, thing shame. i'm just yeah. saying like you know what i mean it's like, just it's you know if, if that we were in person that probably wouldn't happen exactly you know? so yeah i get what you're saying because some of the pictures i've gotten i just think i'm like girl why did you think that that was a picture that you wanted to start i our know conversation it's like, and it's like the first of all it's either a really weird angle of yeah. like a face picture or it's like someone's fucking butthole. Right. And, please, and, and <laughs> like, that's not the first picture you should ever send no. anybody, like ever. No one is walking up to somebody on the street and just like <laughs> bending over <laughs> to, hello. to say hello. <laughs> like, I mean, maybe some people are, but like the, uh, the majority, okay. there's if not a like lot like in of... a bathhouse or something somewhere. <laughs> maybe they're saying it that way, yeah. but not in general. <laughs> just like, that is too much. <laughs> if you're in a sex club, maybe, I don't know. But yeah, when they open, like, I'm like, girl, you... Spread eagle is not the way. No, like that should. Never I don't even be your know first. how to respond. Like, what do you say? Yeah, N- nice hole. Nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello to you too. Right. <laughs> like, what do you? That looks tired. <laughs> <laughs> Like, what do you say to like, that? Oh, it's I, smooth. Right? Like, ooh. Do you shave? Right? What do you use? <laughs> I, it just I, it blows my mind sometimes. Like, but I guess some people just be like, "Well, what do I have to lose? Let me go ahead and give this a shot." Yeah. I guess I don't know. And that's what that's what I think the mentality is, which is fine. But like, don't be getting all mad at me when I don't okay. respond because some of these people are like, "Fine, I you know you're just another one of those like weho queens." But mm-hmm. I'm like, no, okay. If I wasn't interested in you in public, I would not show interest to you in online. public like and so like why do you think i'm gonna show interest online yeah. and like we're not here to be friends we're all here trying to fuck this is true you know like this for the most true. part that's what's happening on grinder this is true and then every now and then if you try to be nice and, and like respond mm-hmm. then they start going on and yeah. on and then if you don't respond to that that's when they start cursing you out it's, you know? it's just so. like okay it's a lose lose yeah it really it is. is it is because you're not like look this is one thing your mom told me my mom said when i was a kid she's yeah. like no matter how cute you are you think you are you're not going to be everybody's cup of tea so this is what my mom miss deborah told me <laughs> yeah. so you're not going to be everybody's it's cup true, of tea though. and it's true and sometimes you're like you see somebody with somebody else you're like how are they with them but everybody has different taste. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like everybody's boat floats yeah. in different ways. So, you know, because Lord knows we've seen couples where they're like, how the hell did that happen? I know. Seriously. <laughs> but, you know, beauty's in the eye. It is. It's in the eye, you know. But anyways. Anyhow. So I guess the point of all us babbling about this is that we we're going to try to be more open <laughs> <laughs> to like... The possibility yeah. of maybe going on dates with people ish. Yes. Right? I think so. I mean, I've you know, I'm I'm an independent person as are you. I feel like we're very similar in a lot of our the ways we think about relationships and dating and and I've I've been guarded for quite some time and like 
you know, I just, it's time to like maybe just, and I'm yeah. not even just saying this because we're in a pandemic and there's not other things to do. Like I'm thinking about it. I'm not, when things open up, yeah, I want to go party. I want to go have fun. I want to, but I still, my priorities are so much more clear now than yeah. they have been exactly been before. So like I, you want to at least have the possibility. Yeah, maybe. I want to, maybe. Yeah. It's like the, I, the want is there, Yeah, you know? And so I'm not desperate for it. I'm not going to like be like putting my ad up on like the classified. Right. You're like bitches, but we take an application. <laughs> yeah. This is what yeah. I like. Single right. looking for She's like I like long walks on the <laughs> beach. <laughs> Seriously, like I'm not like there, but I no, I, know I need to be more it's time to be a little more open to it because right. we were so I feel like distracted by everything that was going on pre COVID and just being social and going out and like that's fine. Yeah. But I think ultimately like I do want to be with somebody one yeah. day. Look at this know? growth. I know. It's called growth, I people. Know. Growth. I'm like, oh, girl. Yeah, right? Look at this. <laughs> no, I know. Ultimately, <laughs> you know, you it would be nice if you, you try to find that person. But if not, we'll just be the golden girls like when we get old and... Which I can handle as long yeah. as I have sex every now and then. I got to be Blanche. <laughs> I have some sex yeah, you're Blanche for sure. Because you know, she has more fun. Yeah. You know, well, you just, okay, because Adam's typically in Sex and the City Miranda. Yes. So I'm the he Miranda. Is completely Miranda. Like, <laughs> you're just like, uh, yeah. That's I'm a you. real bitch. That's what <laughs> right? I am. You're like, <laughs> you're like, what are you saying? Why are you saying you want to see me again? We both know this is not going anywhere. <laughs> I mean, like, why not just be honest? I'm, I'm Miranda in the sense that I'm real. I'm not a lesbian in real life. Right. We're like, well, no. <laughs> yeah. So. She's a lesbian, isn't she? Yeah. Yeah. She is. Yeah. But more power to her. Right. Yeah. Like I'm you here gotta, for it. Yeah, you got to do what you got to do, girl. You got to do what you got to do. Well, I think it is time to wrap into our final segment. Ma'am, what, what do, do you, you think? think? <laughs> <laughs> all right well i guess adam's taking it i guess i'll do it next time because you've been doing it for a while yeah right. I, I, I'll, I'll take the card so we're gonna draw a little card i'm gonna ask steven what he thinks about it and he's gonna tell me because <laughs> you know i never give my opinion about anything <laughs> <laughs> never ever I never do that, never hear that. <laughs> okay so ma'am what do you think about having sex with a coworker? <sighs> And, I, ha- and have you been in this position? I, I, I'm trying. That's what I'm. That's why I'm pausing because I'm trying to think if I've ever done that at my jobs. And I want to say I have. Oh, I have. I think, but not in not in one of my professional jobs. Like not, like in the capacity that I work now. Like maybe like in my twenties at a smaller yeah, job. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I'm okay with it. Like, why not? I mean, if it doesn't um, affect your work, yeah. I don't know that I would do it with somebody like in my immediate immediate department, but maybe somebody yeah, like, like someone a little distant. Yeah, and because I wouldn't want it to like I wouldn't want to have somebody in my immediate department and then like it goes awry and then things get weird and then HR is called in because y'all arguing or something. <laughs> I mean, you know, the whole mean? fucking fiasco. Right, exactly, and then the rest of the people find out, <laughs> and then you can lose your job, and you know, I don't. So yes, in certain situations, because you could work in a big place and yeah. like other departments and there could be some hotties and um but no to like immediate like department because yeah. I wouldn't want it to get weird especially if it was a one off and then maybe somebody caught feelings and the other person didn't and then yeah. they got weird and then like you got it wasn't there a movie about this with like Demi Moore or somebody <laughs> she like and, <laughs> and she got obsessed Maybe. or something I forget the name of it something like that but anyways uh, what do you think about it? Um I you know, I've never been in this situation. Yeah. Um, but I, I would like to think that I would avoid it. At, I guess at this point, and maybe right. maybe before when I was like working, like doing yeah, like, like lesser jobs. Less, yeah, yeah. Or like you know, not saying that like serving is a left. No, less, but I like worked in retail like, yeah. when I was twenty something. Is that's what I mean? Like it's in, just like more. You know, the social aspect of it is a yeah. little different. Whereas like now being in a professional setting, yeah. And, I, and let I, me just say, I don't mean lesser jobs. I guess yeah. I mean like a lesser, le- like position. Yeah. Like when I was just really yeah, young. like when you're more like yeah. low, lower on the lower totem level, pole. Yeah, exactly. You know, yeah, yeah I, I, I get what you mean. And I, yeah. I just feel like now though, I, I couldn't. Um, 
I don't know. It would be hard though if he was real hot, right? That's what I'm like saying. Maybe so he was like gotta, a little in the closet, okay. so it makes it even like kind of like hotter, you know? Like I mean, like, we started watching Looking. He started having sex with his boss. <laughs> that's so, what I'm saying. Like, it, it would and be, he was hot. It would so. be hard to say no to, but I know it would probably cause more issues Drama, than yeah. anything because there's there's just it's just like any relationship yeah. or a hookup. One person's usually more into. Yeah. the other person and, and and then it causes issues and I can't imagine having to face that person at right. work, you know. And in this day and age, like with being politically correct about mm-hmm. everything, I don't even like you probably be sitting up in the HR office real quick. <laughs> like, <laughs> That's what I'm saying, yeah. yeah. I just I don't know. And I, I I've I've known coworkers to be in this situation and um it's never really turned out good. No. So um but I know if But it could work. I could I yeah, you know but then you could meet then you the could per- like sneak off to the bathroom and have sex or something. <laughs> <laughs> I could never do that at my work. I would get I would fired. Not do that <laughs> You can but, close your office door. Girl, like I, have a, I have an open office cubicle. <laughs> so that wouldn't work no, for you. No, it wouldn't work for me. Yeah. But I mean there's just the option of doing it not in the office. <laughs> right. <laughs> but yeah, that's yeah. what I think about it. So yeah. well, there well, you go. Now you guys know. So if you work with us, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> right. If you're hot, probably. <laughs> <laughs> we just don't have a lot of restraint. I know, right? <laughs> and these days, I just need human affection. So. <laughs> oh, don't we all? Right. Uh, oh, oh. Well, I think I think that wraps up the episode. I, you know, it's just yeah. wanted to come up to speed with what's going on. Give you guys an intro into 2021. 2021. <laughs> let's, let's go for it. Let's well, yeah, like, right. hopefully let's get better even. And at it. first we were like, well, we could talk about our plans. I'm like, but we don't have any. Yeah. We so. don't have a lot to talk about what's coming up. <laughs> right. But um, we're like, we can't make any, but we're still going to put out episodes and yeah. we will have topics and we will have stuff for you guys. Yeah, so we think- will remain to be, as interesting as we've always yes, been. Yes, <laughs> exactly. And I'm like so thankful for everybody who, do, you know, I know we don't have this crazy huge following, but, but we're it, growing. Yeah. And we, I'm, I'm thankful for all you guys that know, do listen because I know it's kind of a weird time. Everybody used to listen to podcasts when they drive to work and like stuff like that. Yeah. And now people aren't commuting as much. So people who still do listen on the regular, that's like means a lot to yeah, us. So we appreciate you. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, um, if you want to follow us, Adam and Steve at, um, sorry, Adam and Steve podcast on yep. Instagram or your, your I'm handle. green eye Steve. Yeah. I'm Adman 2005. Yes. Um, follow us. yeah, please follow us. Um, and until next time, you know, just remember that God made Adam and Eve, but he also made Adam and Steve. Any problems? Pray, Pray about, about it. it.